has a rich culinary heritage. Indian cuisine has 5,000 year old history. Mythological beliefs and traditions have played an important role in its evolution and development. The main Indian food was based on Hinduism. But the Islamic influence during the Mughal era, the Persian exchanges with the Middle East and the British colonial system have contributed immensely towards laying the foundation of Indian cuisine. India is a big country with many states and regions. Each region offers a unique assortment of dishes and cooking techniques. Each regional cuisine uses its own locally grown herbs, spices, fruits and vegetables. These regional cuisines collectively combined together form the very delightful Indian cuisine. The staple Indian foods are rice, wheat and lentils, dal chawal or roti. And no Indian dish is complete without spices. Indian food is a combination of all six tastes like sweet, sour, salty, bitter, spicy and astringent. In India, different dishes are prepared for different festivals. Every festival tends to be complete only when the special food associated with that festival is cooked on that day. Holi cannot be complete without Gujia and Eid cannot be complete without Sivai. India is the only country in the world where there is unity in diversity, not only in its culture and religion but also in its cuisine. Hi friends, welcome back to this amazing show, 5 to Shine. I'm Shrenu Parekh and I'm excited to begin today's quiz round with you all. Let's welcome our shining stars of the day. We are so excited to have you at 5 to Shine. Would you like to introduce yourselves to our audiences? Hi, my name is Krutana Rupesh Khaire. I'm 12 years old and I live in Mumbai. Hi, my name is Diyaja. I am 12 years old and I am from Mumbai. I'll quickly let you go through the rules, okay? So I'm going to ask you five questions. Whoever knows the answer will press the buzzer. The buzzers are right there. Whoever presses the buzzer first gets the chance to answer. If your answer is wrong, the question will be automatically passing to the other contender. Alright? And by the end of the fifth question, whoever has a higher score, she will be the winner. And the person who loses will be given a punishment. What is the punishment? Okay, so today's punishment is very interesting. You don't have to be worried or nervous. It's fun actually. So what I'm going to do is, you have to shut your eyes and we will give you a few fruits. You have to taste them and then tell us what fruit it is. And it is time bound. This has to happen in one minute. Okay? So it's better to win rather than take the punishment. Okay? Are you guys ready? Yes. Let's start the quiz then. Question 1. Khunda, Saap, Kato are used in which dance form? Your options are A. Gidda B. Koli C. Kalbelia or D. Garba Guess? Yeah. Gidda Gidda is the correct answer. One point goes to you. Gidda is a popular folk dance of women in Punjab region. The dance is often considered derived from the ancient dance known as the ring dance and is just as energetic as Bhangra. At the same time, it manages to creatively display feminine grace, elegance and flexibility. Not bad, it's a good start. The score is 1-0. No worries, the game has just started. We have four other questions, right? So, you can buck up. Okay, the second question is for making a Madhubani painting, the artist uses your options are A. Color paste of powdered rice B. Fiber paints C. Specially made poster colors or D. Paints made by dissolving silver and gold Yes? Option A. Color paste of powdered rice 
That is correct. It was named after Madhubani district of Bihar, India, which is where it originated. This painting is done with various tools such as fingers, twigs, brushes, nip pens and matchsticks and using natural dyes and pigments. It is characterized by its eye-catching geometrical patterns. I'm guessing you both knew the answer, it's just that she was fast enough. So our score is 1-1. One, one. Okay, competition is neck to neck. We don't know who's going to win, who's going to lose, but let's move forward with the third question. Who is believed to have created the Raga Mia Ki Malhar? A. Amir Khusro B. Tansen C. Firdosi or D. Swami Haridas Yes, Diya? Uh, repeat now, please. Okay. Uh, Amir Khusro B. Tansen B. Tansen Tansen is the correct answer. Another point for Diya. Tansen created the Raag Mia Ki Malhar. This rag is also referred to as Mia Malhar since it was a wonderful creation by Sangeet Samrat Mia Tanse. Okay, so now what is the score, girls? 2-1. Two, one. Two, one. Okay, it is neck to neck. We have last two questions and a lot of tension, excitement and nervousness, right? Yes. Okay, so you have to be like very alert so that what happens is sometimes you know the answer but you are slow in, you know, pressing the buzzer. So try to be alert and just press the buzzer as soon as you know that the answer is right in your head. Okay? So the fourth question is, Barley paintings derive its name from a small tribe of which state? A. Jharkhand B. Chhattisgarh C. West Bengal or D. Maharashtra Yes, Diya. D. Maharashtra. Maharashtra is the right answer. You get another point, Diya. Worldly painting is a form of tribal art mostly created by the tribal people from the North Sayadri range in Maharashtra, India. This range encompasses the cities such as Dahanu, Talasari, Jawar, Palgar, Mukhda, and Vikramgad of Palgar district. Okay, Diya, my darling, you are on a roll and we are on to the last question. But it's never the end of the battle till it's ended, right? Before we move ahead, it's time for Prodigy Talks or Pro Talks. Let's talk about Prodigy's concept. Indian art has been prominently classified into seven categories. Painting, architecture, sculpture, literature, music, performing and cinema. It has glimpses of country's devotional nature and intellectual thoughts which in the present time stand as the heritage of country. India is home to over 50 traditional folk and tribal arts. These Indian folk arts have been passed down from generation to generation for almost more than 3000 years. A good way to become more recognizable with Indian art is to take time to visit many ancient monuments and museums as possible. This will help you in being clever to visually recognize the nature of the artist and their style. So the fifth question is, who among the following is famous for playing flute, Basuri? Your options are A. Ustad Bismillah Khan B. Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasya, C. Ustad Zakir Hussain, or D. Pandit Ravi Shankar. A. Ustad Bismillah Khan. I'm afraid it's the wrong answer. You want to try? B. Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasya. Okay, that is the correct answer. Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasya is an Indian music director and classical flutist who plays the flute in the Hindustani classical tradition. Alright, so that was the end of our quiz today. 
and we have a winner over here who also smartly gave all the answers so congratulations and according to our rules you get this lovely hamper my dear dia congratulations and also according to the rules जो हारेगा उसको पनिशमेंट मिलेगा सो योर पनिशमेंट यू नो यू हर्ट यू हैव टू शट योर आईज एंड आइडेंटिफाई द फ्रूट दैट वी गिव यू ओके दैट हैज टू हैपन विद इन अ मिनट अदरवाइज वन मोर फ्रूट विल कम एंड यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई इट ओके ओके लेट्स गेट द फ्रूट्स शट योर आईज फर्स्ट ओके लेट्स गेट द फ्रूट Okay. Do not cheat. Okay. Don't open your eyes. The bowl is right in front of you. Take the fruit in your hand and taste it. Yes. Your time starts now. Mm, it's a tomato. Yummy. Oh my God! I thought you will get confused. You'll think that it's a plum. You figured not bad. Very smart. Within the first fifteen seconds, you figured that it's a tomato. Very nice. And don't put it back. Finish it. That's also part of the punishment. Okay. So, friends, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Five to Shine. You can be a part of this quiz round. Want to know how? Just follow our Instagram handle and get all the updates over there. Okay we will be back with another contest new set of contenders five exciting questions and one fun punishment <laughs> So till then it's me Shainu Parekh signing off stay tuned Khao finish karo Like share and subscribe to our YouTube channel Born to Shine and don't forget to press the bell icon